hello everyone welcome to my video so in this video we will see how we can implement loader in htmx so if you guys don't know htmx so let me give a brief introduction so htmx is a javascript library if you use htmx with html so here it, i have represented it so this is html and htmx combination so if you use htmx with html then your html elements are uh, capable of doing http request directly to the server without interference of any javascript framework so javascript framework is totally eliminated from this scenario now with with the use of htmx uh, any html element can directly make http request to the server and then server will send the response directly uh, to html and then html can render those uh, updated response accordingly so there is no need of javascript framework like react uh, angular view or anything so this is the concept of htmx so i have covered this all all in detail i have uh, created many videos on htmx you can check my playlist for htmx you will you will get uh, more in details about htmx in the, those videos okay so in today's video we will cover how we can implement H, uh, loader while we are making http request directly from html okay so this is the official website of htmx so now we are in so basically if you know htmx use different different attributes to do uh, all the all those tasks so basically this is the attribute for the loader so this is called hx indicator okay i will show you in the code how it works okay guys so this is my code so this is my code so i uh, i have set up this code already so i okay. already created a video where i sh i have shown how we can implement uh, express server express and node server and uh, in front end we are using htmx so i already have uh, explained this setup in another video so i will not repeat it again here uh, you can check my that video i will give you the link in the description and or in the end of the video so you can check out that video and you can also set up accordingly and then you can proceed with this tutorial so i will not repeat i will don't i don't want to waste your time so i will just straight away uh, come to the topic so now let me let me run this for you and show you how this looks right now okay so okay guys so this is my uh, application right now this is simply a counter application if i click on this increment counter so if i click on this button one http call will be made will be made to to the server and then server will will send html as a response this one and that html will will be replaced with another element in the in the html so this is how stmx works okay so uh, if i click multiple times multiple request will go to the server and each time server will send you the updated html that's it so this is the functionality we already have explained in another video okay so now we will do some modification in this functionality i will add when i click on this increment counter so a, a api is hit and then that in, in in that duration a loader should be shown okay so let let me come to the code now okay so this is the same code i explained in another video also this is, this is our html and this is our server js file where we have created our server for increment and these are the apis this, this is the api for server increment basically and we are just count uh, increasing, increasing this counter value and sending back to the server, to the front end this this is what we have already explained okay now we will do some modification here uh, we will go to our html i already have added a, a svg file so this is the svg file this is for uh, loader basically so this is nothing to explain about this is just loader file and we have to include that loader file in our uh, stmx now so i will use image tag for this so in this image i will give id spinner because id is important in stmx we will pick the element according to the id then class we can give any class stmx uh, indicator we can say stmx loader anything okay then uh, source source will be uh, loader loader.svg okay that's it okay so this is this is a simple image element nothing fancy about it okay we have given id class and source to this image and we are picking this loader svg from our uh, folder that's it so but to apply loader on the request so we have to do only one thing 
so th this is the button okay this is the button after clicking on this button we are hitting the api so on clicking of this button we have to enable our loader so now we will give we will we will tell this button this, that this is the uh, hx indicator okay this is hx indicator and then we have to give the id okay so now here we are saying uh, that hx indicator it it means let me show you now here if you see hx indicator okay so we are telling htmx that this is the this is the indicator element for us hx indicator equal to spinner the id of that element is spinner so pick that uh, pick that uh, element and show as a loader for us as an indicator sorry as an indicator okay so that's it we are what we have told uh, to the htmx now so now accordingly we have to do one modification to our server file al also because this is very simple api and uh, we will get response in you know very quickly so we we have to add some loading time also so we will use set timeout and inside the set timeout i will give a callback this is a simple one okay this is our callback and then uh, i will give some time 500 millisecond i can say and now i will add this response in the set timeout okay now it will not give it a response to the browser immediately but it will wait for five seconds once they once we hit the api then it will wait for five seconds and then it send the response to the server and for that five second time being we will show our loader okay so that's what we have done so far so let me show you how it works i will start the server again okay let me check how it is looking now guys why it is keep loading let me check now okay let me check the documentation okay so we have to give htmx indicator so, so this is the mandatory class okay so now we have to give an htmx indicator okay indicator okay so guys we have to give this class then let me refresh it okay cool so now uh, now we are uh, our uh, svg is hidden but we will make some api call then it will uh, it will be shown okay just see i am clicking on this button increment counter and our api is waiting for 5 second and then it is loader showing okay now again i will hit this counter as you can see this is loading again then i hit again and it is loading again so yes so this is the functionality and one more thing guys so when we when we see let me hit this button again and you can see there is a htmx request and htmx indicator so htmx request is a dynamic class applied here and once uh, that uh, request is done that it will disappear okay now it is gone so and again it will be shown here okay htmx request this class and it will be gone now okay now you can see so this htmx request okay also can be used for you know customizing your style for your loader and you can pick this class and apply any styling here as also shown here in this like you can apply some htmx indicator some transition or some any any css you can apply on the basis of these classes and secondly uh, you can use htmx indicator and htmx request also so these classes are available for you if you want to know 10 cool feature of htmx you can see left video if you want to see how you can set up htmx with express and node server then you can watch the right video thank you so much